Okay, so last time we uh, picked all the cards that might be good in the exiling and um, processing deck. Um, so it is Abzan, um, and we're kind of shooting for a Abzan enchantments kind of theme. So we got uh, Blood Cursed Knight, we got Herald of the Pantheon. Um, Helm of the Gods, possibly. Um, I don't think Blightcaster is going to be in here, but it, it could be good. I don't know. Um, Mithrealized could be also in there. Um, and then either one of those could also be in here. Uh, I don't think Abzan Ascendancy is great, um, but that's why we're going to cut. So, Alright, so um, first of all, let's identify cards as. Uh, as sideboard cards or as main main deck cards. So let's go over here, put sideboard. And um just break the links here. Okay, so um we already looked for enchantments. Um if there's anything else that would work well with this deck. What would it be? Um, I mean, you could always just, just stick a sea rhino in here, but I don't. I don't like doing that. I don't like sticking cards in that don't don't actually have any synergy. Um, let's see. Do we have any kind of life gain? I don't think so. All right. Well, all right. Let's go for it. So. Um, let's just delete Abzan Ascendancy. So I'm gonna I'm gonna save this again. Version two. And I wanna um just get rid of some cards that I don't think are gonna be good. So let's get rid of Abzan Ascendancy. Let's get rid of pacifism. I've already got other cards that do the same thing. They're better. Um, White caster might go. I don't think I'm going to use Ujin. Um, Radiant Purge is definitely sideboard. It's a good one though. Sideboard. Um, Woe Reaper, I think, is also not very good. Just put them over here for now. And then, uh, same with Hadron uh, Network. That obviously isn't main deckable, so stick it over here. Maybe in some big decks. We never, don't really know how the format's going to be yet. Okay, so, um, then we will lay out how much everything's gonna cost. So, ones, one drops, two drops, three drops, etc. Don't think there's any sixes. Um, we might be able to play one six, or a couple sixes even. But we don't have anything that will synergize well, I don't think. But, um, well, let me see. I think I was not planning on having a top end, but this could definitely have a, a top end considering how much removal there is. Alright, let's see here. No. That's probably the only, like, processor card that's good. It's not even that good. <laughs> um, yeah, there's really not that many. Hmm. Don't see anything. Jumps out at me. Um, but could put in a top end. I don't know. We'll see. Could be just good enough as a mid-range deck without any six drops, but... 
Okay, so one drops. We've got... Uh, well, for, first let's assign how many we want of the, each one. Um, and let's go with... Um, non-creatures as a separate category. Because um, we're not necessarily going to play those on curve. So, Alright, so... Um, this guy's legendary. Ixis, so maybe we want two of them. Um, Anna Fenza is also legendary, so maybe we want three. I mean, it's a little bit better. Um, should be fine. Um, creatures, processors. Uh, probably want three of these. They're pretty good. Absolutely want four of these. Those are going to be extremely good in a lot of in a lot of uh, situations. Um, Helm of the Gods could be probably played on curve, so maybe let's put three of them and see how they do. Uh, Herald of the Pantheon, I think four is definitely warranted. And uh, Blood Cursed Knight. Probably also four. Very good. Um, Citadel Siege can be played on curve, most likely, so uh, I'm going to say three of them. And uh, Elemental Bond, I'm still debating because I've got one, or one, two, three, four, um, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's quite a bit. I mean, that's that's, uh, that's a decent amount. Let's put a couple in. Seem good. Okay. Uh, Mithril is also going to be on curve, so let's put in. Um, let's see, one drops. So let's put in two or three of them. Put three of them. Um, light form. That is a creature. It's going to be a 2-2 two, two flying lifelink. Uh, maybe for two. But it might be cut. Let's just put in a few of them right now. I don't know how many three drops we have. We've got this one, this one, this one. Uh, wasteland and then a whole bunch of removal that's at three. So maybe we don't really need life form. Let's take it out. And this will actually be, um, I'm just gonna put on curve. Or off curve, off curve. Okay, so one drops on curve which means we're going to play them on turn one, if we have them, um, are going to be Helm of the Gods, so that's three, and then uh, Mithril Eyes, so that's another three, so six, six one drops. How many two drops we got? I'm guessing not very many. Not ones that we're going to play on turn two. Um, oh, we've got Herald of the Pantheon, that's our only one. So there's only four. That's, uh, might be okay. I mean, we've got lots of stuff. Maybe, uh, Transgress the Mind, actually. It's gonna be a two drop. Let's put in a couple of those. Two or three of them. Let's do three. Let's see what happens. Okay, three drops. <coughs> okay. So we got uh, Inafenza on turn three. We have uh, Wasteland Strangler possibly on turn three. Depends on what we do. We could Suspension Field and then Wasteland Strangler. It's pretty good. Blood Cursed Knight is definitely going to be turn three, and Elemental Bond is also going to be turn three. So we got a lot of turn threes. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, possibly 10, we'll just call them 
yeah, we'll just call them the three job. Ten and thirteen. All right, four drops. <clears throat> we have not very many. Blightcaster could be in there. Um, Citadel Siege is going to be three of them. Um, you notice that's pretty low for four drops. Uh, so we might end up putting something else in there. Um, Hixus is two for five drops. Um, and three more for Blight Herder, so that'd be five. Yeah, five. And no six drops right now. And then off curve. Okay, so let's just add up how many we have first. What is this? Six. Does not make it clear six. Um is that six? Yes. Okay, so uh our total so far is 13, 26, 29, 34. And obviously we're going to need a lot more things that, uh, a lot, a lot more non-creature spells because there's just simply not enough for removal right now. Um, of course Transgress the Mind is counted in there and so is, um, so is Citadel Siege, so Let's uh let's make a new count down here in non creatures. So right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And that is two, but I'm gonna count as a creature. Eleven creatures. Put a removal in there too. Um, ah, let's just keep it separate. Keep it together, whatever. Um, let's get, okay. okay, so creatures, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, sixteen, twenty, Twenty-three. Looks like twenty-three. That's quite a bit. Twenty-three. So we're up to thirty-four. Okay, that, that's right. Adds up. Um. Okay. So, question is, what we want to play as far as uh, as far as exiling spells. Okay. So don't have very many four drops, <clears throat> which we could fix by putting in white herder, or white caster, whatever it's called. White caster. Um, I don't think it's a big enough body though. He's like, he's a four drop, but, he, but we don't have any other four drop creatures. Um, this is where Sea Dragon comes in. No. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> okay, white caster. I don't know how good this is. Maybe against, I mean, aggro would be okay, but you know, only if we hit turn five with it. <clears throat> against mid range, maybe it kills like one thing, but minus three, minus three is just far better than minus two, minus two. So, I think I'm gonna take him out. Um, Alright, so now removal spells here. <clears throat> I think three or greater Abzan Charm. That's pretty good, but it's not an enchantment, which means it doesn't cost less from that, it doesn't trigger that, um, and it doesn't do anything with that either. So maybe we just only just go strictly enchantment removal. Um, quarantine field, suspension field. Stasis, Snare, all that stuff. Um, I like a few other ends. 
three or less, three or greater. Three or less. Oh, that's greater mana cost. This is uh, power. Power three or less. It is instant speed, though. Hmm. I don't think we care about creatures that are power three or less. Just three or greater, so let's, let's get rid of this. Absantron will be better. Um, yeah, I think Absantron is probably the only one that I'm gonna run that's not an enchantment. Um, Utter End? I like Utter End, but we have so many other things. Maybe this is just sideboard. That, that probably makes sense. You know, Planeswalkers, obviously. Utter End. <clears throat> For some of our other removal spells or something. Stasis Snare, Suspension Field, Toughness of Three or Greater. This is any creature, I think, right? Yeah, any creature. This is um, any permanent, so that's kind of our catch-all. Silk Wrap, mana cost 3 OS. I don't think that's good, right? In this deck. In the sideboard would be better. So let's put that over there. Just move these down. Okay, so... We've got some decent stuff. I think quarantine field's probably like two of. Um, you don't want too many like expensive removal spells. Suspension field probably three or four of. Oh, I'm gonna say three just because the stasis snare is probably stronger. But probably three of each. Okay, so how many enchantments do we have now? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, um, six, seven, eight, um, nine, ten, eleven, fourteen, sixteen. Sixteen's pretty good. Um, so that means in any given game, <clears throat> let's say you, you draw 15 cards over the course of a game. That means you draw, how many, how many is that? That's a fourth of your deck, a fourth of your deck. So if you have 16 enchantments, that means you're going to be drawing four enchantments, which makes this plus four, plus four, which is pretty good for a one cost equipment. So I still think that that's pretty good. Um, it gets way better, or, like, over the course of the game. And just makes your, like, otherwise pretty unimpressive guys pretty darn impressive. <laughs> Especially with the, uh, Blight Herder. Uh, you get those Scions out, and then you're just gonna keep equipping, equipping, equipping. And they're just gonna, you know, they're huge, so. And Citadel Siege is also gonna help with that, with, with winning the game, for sure. <clears throat> Citadel Siege is really cool with Mithril Eyes, actually. So you get counters on him, and then he turns back back into an enchantment, and then uh, can't deal with him. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, Held in the Gods is also pretty good with uh, Mithrealized. It's a little it's a little clunky because you have to equip him every time, <clears throat> but it's pro probably pretty strong. All right, so uh, okay, Abzan Charm. <clears throat> How many we got? Uh, that might be the four of. Maybe three. Probably three, just because they're not enchantments. Maybe even two. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I think we have numbers to all these. Yeah, we do, okay. So, let's see. Off curve, there's gonna be a billion of them. <laughs> uh, it's so hard to cut things. <laughs> so we got uh, three Abzan charms. That's so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
was there on curve 11? Is it just 11? Huh, okay, only 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11. Okay, so we got a total of uh, um, 45 now, I think. Let's just go through and make sure. 6, 8, 10, 11, 14, 17, 20, 24, 27, uh, 31, 35, 38, 41, 43, am I missing some? Ah, oh, man, okay. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 14, 16, 19, 22, 25, 28, 30, 36, 42, 44. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, man. Okay. Counting is hard, guys. <laughs> 6, 8, 10. Right? 6, 8, 10. 16. 22. 26. 29. 31. 35, 39, 42, 45. Jeez, okay. I, I'm pretty sure it's 45, but I don't know how I miscounted like four times. Alright. So we have to cut 10. So in order to cut 10, um, we will look at, you know, how many do we have at each, uh, each cost, and, uh, are we gonna play them on curve, and, um, what do we have high? What do we have low? Okay, so ten cards. Hmm. Okay, anything that exiles is important, so six, nine, six, six, eight, ten, thirteen, sixteen, nineteen. 19 cards that exile. So we have 19 cards that exile stuff. Now we've got um, two cards that process stuff. And we've got uh, enchantment based stuff over here. Hmm. Okay. So, we need to cut 10. Ugh. Okay. I prefer not to cut exiling stuff because we have. Eight, 15, 18, 21, 24, 21, 21 cards that exile. Maybe it's okay to cut a few of those. Um, transgress the mind. Three or greater. I'm trying to think of. There's a few decks where you wouldn't want that, really. Let's cut it down to two. That'll take down the two drops to six. Maybe we don't want to do that. We need to. We need two drops. We need to obviously get rid of three drops. All right. Well, wasteland strangler. I feel like it's going to be insane. But having four of him and four of the blood curse knight is probably unrealistic. Maybe two and offenses. Yeah, I think that's fine. Let's take one out. Okay, so we removed a an offensa and a transgress the mind, so we should be at forty three. Okay, so we got eight more eight more cards. We're shooting for twenty five lands, I think. <clears throat> I think twenty five lands is doable. Maybe 26. Hmm. Gotta get rid of 8 more. 
Okay, is there something we can just cut? Just completely cut. Hmm. Myth realized, do we need that? I think we do. Just because we don't have very many threats that are like unkillable. <laughs> He's a bad top deck though. He's a really bad top deck. Hmm. How many non creature spells do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 16, 18, 21. That's a lot of non-creature spells. Um, but maybe we just go down to 2, I think. Let's go down to 2. So that we're at 5 one drops, and we're going to go down to 42. Okay, slowly but surely. Uh <sighs> Um, still need to get rid of threes. One blood curse night. Yeah, pro four three. Four three for three is pretty good. Life link. It's pretty good. It's very strong. Um. And the Citadel Siege out, oh man, it's gonna, it's gonna get insane. Like, turn three this, turn four that, it's gonna be brutal. Uh, <clears throat> you know, let's take out Myth Realized. I don't, I don't like to top deck that. <laughs> Just completely take it out. That cuts it down to 40. Five more. Five more. Processors. I think we need the processors in there. Strangler is so good. Um, maybe take out a Blight Herder. What is that going to combo with? Combos with uh, Helm of the Gods. Um, because you can equip the guys. Yeah, I mean, let's take out one of them. Go down to two. So we only have four or five drops. Go down to 39 cards. Hmm. Six twos, huh? And our four drops are low, but you know, this is gonna be a four drop. Um there's lots of things we can play in between. We can fill in the four drop slot. So it's not that big a deal. Herald of the Pantheon, is it good in multiples? It's really not great in multiples. It's good with quarantine field. It's gonna be really good with quarantine field. But maybe just one. Yeah, one gone. Let's take one of those out. Go down to 38. Three more. Maybe Transgress the Mind just isn't what we want to play for main deck. Um, two drop. Eh, that's fine. But there's stuff to do on turn two. Now we're down to 36. And 4. We kinda need to fill those in though. Well, yeah. I mean, we have so much removal that it doesn't matter. That's most likely what we're gonna be playing on turn 2 anyways. Is a removal spell. 
I think we're going to be playing Suspension Field. Really? Uh, suspension Fields are only two. Well, Herald. So we got three, six. Actually, this is toughness for three readers. Maybe that's a little clunky. Um. Hmm. What kind of like other two drops? Well, I don't want to keep expanding on what we're doing. <laughs> Let me just make it harder to cut. Ah, uh, one more, one more. One less Strangler? No, I don't think so. I think one less Siege would be... No. But Curse Knight... Mm, man. Comes down to the last card, man. Um, let's take out an Abzan Charm. So we still have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven, uh, fourteen things exile, fourteen things that exile, uh, so fourteen means, um, over the course of a few turns, well that's, you know, a fourth of our deck, so, about a fourth of the deck, so let's say we draw a few cards, we'll get two two exiling things pretty easily. Um, this isn't necessarily going to exile anything, but I don't know. You know, let's put in uh, Let's put in one more abs and charm and just get rid of a wasteland string where it don't it feels wrong but <laughs> Alright, eleven. Okay, let's make sure this is correct. Um so I'm gonna kinda debug this and um put it on to tapped out and then we can kinda try out the curve. Uh, on on the next video, so uh, be sure to tune in for the next video. Thanks.